it's a beautiful day welcome to the camp guys if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and hit that subscription button and make sure that you press that bell and select all you gotta select all so you get all notifications you gotta make sure that the youtube notification on your cell phone is turned on and that you're not signed out of your youtube app on your phone let's see what's going on for us here what your maskings are thinking about our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right guys let's see what's going on with your divine masculines here what's going on here what's on their mind great achievement someone has accomplished something your masculines they're thinking about a great achievement here they're thinking about something here like something was just completed and in their mind they're like yes no i can do this no i can do that they have overcome something here and look what's on the bottom great gratitude yeah they're really thankful for something something happened that a divine masculine is thankful for something that is gonna pave the way for something beautiful of course to happen here let's see what else is on their mind here you have fear there is something that they were fearing that was going to stop their progress that was going to keep them stuck they had a great fear within them about something here they had a great fear yeah like they were going to lose something they were fearing that they were going to lose something a consciousness of lack like something wasn't there, something wasn't going to, wasn't going to happen. But they made it. Whatever this great achievement is, they made it. 313. There was a lot of conflict within this situation. Oh, what do you expect? Of course, it's going to be with the Divine Feminine. So there was something here that your Divine Masculine was like thinking like, my God, if I don't achieve this, it's not going to happen. I can't have this beautiful connection that I've been dreaming of. I can't give this person what I want. I can't make this person happy. I can't make them smile. They felt like they were going to lose you if they didn't achieve certain things here. I don't know what it is. See, true love. They didn't want to lose you. They didn't want to lose this love. But whatever they have accomplished, there. It's like it's like they've been setting a wish or something. They've been wishing for something. And now, like, it came through. It worked out. It worked out. I'm here like, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, now I can have the life that I'm dreaming of. Oh my gosh. A divine masculine or divine masculines here, they are happy that they have finally achieved what they were dreaming of, what they were wishing for. Like like a, a, a path has been paved towards your happiness, your true love, this family that they need, that they want with the divine feminine. Some of you guys may have children already, and then there's going to be birth of new children coming in. Oh my God, see? And a milestone. This is something your divine masculines have overcome here. Something they have been, they've, they've been like either watching or looking about, looking on for a very long time. They have achieved something. They've overcome something. They've won something. Something has been won here. Could be a court case or something. Or just to be free from a situation. Whatever this is. But your divine masculines were very scared that if it didn't work out, they couldn't have this connection. They would not be able to move towards this connection with their true love. Let's see what else is on their mind. The status quo. They're breaking free from the status quo. Your masculines, they were following the status quo. What everybody says. What society says. What other people tell them that they have to do because that's just the way it is. You know? That's how it's been for years. That's what you need to do. That's why you got to stick this out because that's the way society says. 
That's the way it is. That's the way it is. But your divine masculine. Six, six. Your divine masculine. They're being guided right now on a new path. Some of your divine masculines are being guided away. Oh, my voice. And another six. Oh, 623, 623. Oh, my gosh. They're being guided away from these people, these negative people that taught them stick with the status quo. Stick inside the box. Don't go outside the box. Don't do anything different. Don't do anything different from what normal people would do. Follow everybody. No. Your divine maskings are following their heart, their emotion. They were all over the place because other people were saying, follow the status quo. But them fearing that they're going to lose you, lose your connection, 0707. They didn't want that to happen. So they're slowly putting themselves together. There was a tower moment. There was a tower moment. I'm getting a good tower moment. Something that changed. Maybe it's that achievement. That changed. Look at in the bottom again. Something that changed that showed these divine masculines that they will. They will acquire that family that they're dreaming of. They can move forward. They can move forward. What is this on their mind? Discovery, yeah. They've discovered a lot here. Something was revealed to them during that tower moment. Something was revealed to these divine masculines. And they're discovering their new path. Their new life. See the ascended masters? It's like everything is coming into play now. Everything. The ascended ma masters, their guides, their spiritual guides, their angels, God. Everybody is coming together. To make sure that this divine masculine have what it is that they desire. And it started off with some good news great achievement great achievement oh yes great achievement now they're being guided back towards their divine feminine the loving woman this achievement that happened within your divine masculine or around them gave them the go ahead to move towards your divine feminine Oh, oh, wow, somebody called the, the, the doctor, the love doctor. Somebody called the love doctor. Oh, my heart, my heart, my heart. The commitment. What did I just say? That great achievement that they received or acquired or heard, whatever that tower moment is or was that good tower moment, it pushed them towards their divine feminine. It gave them the go ahead to move towards their divine feminine. And they're ready to commit. Oh, yes, I love Fridays. I love me some Fridays. <laughs> Let's see what else. 626. What else is on these divine masculines' minds, please, Father God? What else is on these masculines' mind, please? Someone from your past is returning to your life. I told you. Whatever this good news is that they may have heard. It has opened the door to them moving forward towards your divine feminine. Like it has paved the way. It's like your divine masculine. They were wishing for something. Praying for something. Like asking for a sign. Whatever they were doing. But it's like they got it. They got it. They got it. On the top is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. And you have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. It is safe for you to love. So with this status quo. This is what was causing the addiction. I got to stick to this. I got to I gotta do what everybody said. So they were, they, they were living in insecurities. They were living in other people's shadows. In what other people wanted them to do. Addicted to people pleasing. I got to do this because, you know, it will make my family feel better. It will make this person happy. But at the same time, they're forgetting themselves. What about me? I need to be happy too. I need to be happy too. 
in the middle is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and this has been coming out every time i use this deck so your divine masculines are on their way they have been they have gotten that go ahead to move towards you whatever that good Torah moment was it has opened doors for them to move forward let's see what the tarot has to say oh my lord it just come on cards the seven of swords and three of pentacles were coming out oh my gosh come on come on come on come on the cards are just flying now let me take these okay so you got the sun the page of coins and the ten of cups so like I said I need to be happy too I want to be happy too your masculines they're feeling on top of the world right now feeling on top of the world they're coming in with an offer you're, you, there's a message coming in from this divine masculine your masculines are I don't even know if I should say in their power I can't find a word to describe the way that your masculines are right now. You got the sun. That's their energy. That's their energy. They're in their power. They're shining bright like that diamond right now. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> They're seeing everything clearly. Their beautiful lives. Their beautiful feminine. See? On the bottom is a temperance. They have found that middle path. No longer going around trying to please every single body. Doing what everybody says. No longer sticking in the status quo. They are pleasing themselves. They are learning to be happy for themselves. And they are walking away from those things. There you go. Walking away. Now they are pleasing their emotions. Now they are pleasing their emotions. They are willing to work on this connection. They are working on themselves. It's like your divine masculine have said like, I don't care what anybody wants to do, what anyone wants to say. I'm going to work on this connection. I'm going to work on me. And we're going to come out victorious. Reconciliation. Reconciliation for you and your divine masculines. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Congratulations to whomever. You want, yeah, let me get some truth. Let me see what the truth is. Okay, truth. Give me, give me some truth on this message here. Give me some truth on this message here. Oh my gosh. Give me some truth here. Give me some truth here. Forgive yourself so you can forgive me because I'm coming. I'm coming. Messages are coming in. Messages are coming in. You're masculine. They're asking you to forgive them. They had financial issues. They had struggles. They had things keeping them back. I need more time to heal. This is what's happening with your divine masculine. Stop chasing divine feminine. Everything is working out here. Seeing you everywhere. Looking at those signs and synchronicities about you. Oh my God, this is just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. I will communicate soon. See, forgiveness is needed. Your divine masculines want you to forgive them for walking away from you in the past. It was because of fear and because they, they were feeding the status quo, pleasing everybody else. So they want that forgiveness. Yeah, they, were, they, weren't, they weren't in their power at all. They weren't in their power at all. They wanted to just be alone and cry, not knowing what to do. But they have grown up. They have grown up. Now they have that financial abundance. Now everything is in order. And your divine masculines are planning on that reconciliation. There's something new coming in. Someone is going to be awarded. You're going to be awarded divine feminine. For sticking out. For loving. For caring. And most importantly, for working on yourself and trusting in God. This has been your message, everyone. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. To purchase a book or a reading, go to twindy.flamed.square.site for your protection bracelet, keychains, money magnet, keychain, love keychains. Go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. Let go and let God, everyone. Later. Love you all.